Hello everybody, welcome to Studio G on this Friday. Studio G where we put the G in TGIF. It's going to be a good day and a good weekend. And oh, you know what? Several people noticed that TV yesterday when I was sitting here. Well, that is a RCA Victor Deluxe. It was bought by my grandfather in 1954 and I just decided to bring it back with me last year when I did my road trip to Ohio. Uh, in some respects because it's identical to the first TV I remember having at my parents house and so I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I just decided I wanted to have it with me so anyway that's the story with the TV alright check it out police are continuing to search for the geezer bandit in San Diego he struck again this week guy shuffles into the banks carrying his oxygen tanks and says give me your money well, guess what? They're starting to think maybe that isn't an old guy. He may not be a geezer, but instead a guy who's very good at makeup. They're starting to think that the geezer bandit is just a guy who fixes himself up very, very well and goes about robbing banks. And so they're having to rethink the pictures that they've been posting of the old guy. Checking the markets this morning, the Dow is tumbling. Even gold is down a fair amount. But you know, there are still people who think Gold may hit $5,000 an ounce. When I last looked, it was like $12.25. Well, in preparation for when your money is no good, my friends, a German company has installed the first ATM that dispenses gold. The gold comes out in one gram, five gram, and 10 gram bars, and an onboard computer constantly updates the price of gold, so you get to pay, I assume, full price. But at least they say you're not overpaying because it's constantly updated. So anyway, a little bit of a gold cash for stash, gold for cash, cash for gold kind of a thing, huh? All right, finally this morning, I love this story. Probably the most fascinating story I have seen in a very long time. The story of Frano Selig. There's the man right there. And he is considered by many to be the world's luckiest person. He has escaped death seven times. You know, it's the usual assortment of near-death experiences. Riding on a train that derails goes into a frozen river, 17 people killed, you're okay. Uh, riding on a bus that goes off the road into a river, four people killed, you're okay. Uh, turning a corner on a highway, running into a UN truck, goes off a cliff, but this guy jumps out at the last second, just in time to watch his car hit rock bottom and explode into a ball of fire. But my favorite was he was in an airplane that was going down. Somehow the wind blew the door open. He falls out. And as the plane crashes and kills 19 people, he lands on a haystack and is okay. Well, the story today is that, yes, he did go buy a lottery ticket. And yes, he did win a million dollars. But he's decided to give it all away because he says money can't buy happiness. And he came to that revelation, I guess, when he married his fifth wife. He says, I'm very happy now, and since money doesn't buy happiness, I'm giving it away. So there's your great story for not just today, but the entire week. So anyway, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.